Functions can be elaborate mechanisms in Python that can do some uh, extensive things for us. But I want to pose you this question. What if you've written a program and you're coming back to look at it, or one of your peers or coworkers is coming to look at it for the first time, and you don't remember what it does? You're going to have to go line by line and, and look at it to examine what it does if you need to maybe make some modifications or uh, refresh some things. So how do you tell your future self or your coworker who may be looking at this for the first time what this function does? Well, how we can do that in Python is with something called a doc string, a documentation string. And that is some text that we put, a string we put at the very top of the function, right beneath our, our def keyword and the subsequent uh, line. Uh, it's a triple quoted string that describes the function. And there are some guidelines. It's a very long document. I don't think you need to read it, but it, if you really want to go in depth, you could go read this, the PEP. Uh, 0257 for doc string conventions. Um, let's take uh, let's take a look at a simple one here. We have def, so we're defining a function. We say add. That's the name of the function. Our parentheses, our colon. Within our parentheses, we have two parameters a and b, and then we just say yada yada yada. This is an add function. It adds a and b. That could be a very simple doc string. And then we return A and B. We could have a more complex doc string where uh, for a sim as simple as a function like add, we probably would not need this complex of a doc string, but just to highlight what we can do. We have typically, and this is the PEP guideline, uh, first of all, triple quotes for our multi-line string. We, we describe the function briefly add two numbers and return the result. Then we've got uh, a blank line and then we tell the user about the parameters. We describe the parameters. What are these inputs to the function? And then we talk about what it returns. Well, it returns either an integer or a float, which is the sum of the two numbers. Then we can showcase some examples. And that's our doc string. And, and that, again, the very first thing after we define our function. And then the only purpose of this function, as we see, is to return a plus b. One thing I want to point out and show you is that we can call help on the function, and it will print the doc string. You're familiar with this. We've used help before. We're now just doing it with something that we've created, which is a function. So let's go look in PyCharm. We have our calculate change and print change functions still. I'm going to delete the print change function. And we, we now just have our calculate change function. We're just returning money minus cost. So I want to add a doc string here. Where do I add it? Right at the very top, right below our, our, our def keyword line. So triple quoted strings. We could have a simple, uh, a simple doc string like this calculates the change owed to a customer, something like that. Okay. Um, then we run our function. I'm going to just down here after we calculate that, I'm going to type help calculate change. Now, what is this going to do? If you recall, help will print our doc string. Python just knows, it just knows that's what it, it expects. When we call help on a function, it, it looks for a doc string, which is this first uh, triple quoted string in a function, and it will print that out for us. So let's run it. So we see here, we've called our function, and then it says this is the help on our function calculate change. So it, it says calculate change, and then it says this calculates the change owed to a customer. It printed our doc string. 
Um, if our doc string were more complex, we could say um, parameters cost amount um, the item costs money amount customer paid returns the difference uh, something like that so let's run it again and we'll print our help and we see it printed that all out for us so a little uh, very useful thing with doc strings we don't need to be really verbose with these unless the function is is more complex if it's a very simple function feel free to just do a one-liner describing what the function does um, it's up to you all right that is it for doc strings